basically our system has the uh, manure being manually air scraped in with skid steer loaders into the pits and then uh, we try to keep that manure as thick as possible and still pump it. Uh, that's somewhere we think probably in the 12 or 13 percent range it will work fairly well at 14 percent. For removing the manure from the barn to the digester we're right now using a 20 horse flight pump. Uh, it's a submersible pump. It's fairly easy to wind it up and clean any, like you would get some plastic or foreign materials in it, they can be cleaned out. That manure is pumped uh, with a flight pump over into the digester on one end, which is the primary heating end of the digester. Or there it's heated, we'd like to have it between 95 and 100 degrees. As it uh, heats and the bacteria attack it, it uh, breaks down uh, and becomes more liquid and hence it's a plug flow digester or the material on the other end of the digester has a consistency and probably only about seven percent solids and from there it runs over a weir wall and under a baffle and out into a, a tank which we repump out of for uh, separation we separate the fiber from the liquid and uh, put the liquid which is now about three percent solids into a lagoon. Well, after the separator, the solids uh, are taken back into the barn and used for the bedding. Those solids are, they have some moisture left in them, but it uh, disappears rather quickly. It, it's low enough that it disappears fairly quickly in the stalls and becomes a relatively nice bedding product. Uh, there's plenty of it to do the whole facility, so it works well that way, it takes care of the bedding needs. And the liquid is uh, in a lagoon, and then uh, we pump that out uh, through a hose and boom pull kit uh, on the fields at uh, five to six thousand gallons the acre, uh, basically getting most of the nutrient needs of a good corn crop. We're coming in with uh, five thousand gallons, is uh, representing about a hundred pounds of men about uh, 25 pounds of phosphorus and uh, about 105 pounds of potash. Now, daily maintenance is, for one thing, when you pump in the digester, whoever's in charge of that has to be careful not to pump in only uh, a reasonable amount. I'm not saying it has to be exact, but it should be in the digester 16 to 20 days. and. Uh, if you're putting in amounts too high compared to the size of the digester, it's going to go through there faster than you would like. So that's probably the main management tip is to, if you get an awful lot of water for some reason or what, it probably should jump it through that digester. You need to be in, be in consideration of what can go in that diet or how much goes through there so that you don't wash the bacteria out. Um, it's nice to keep it as thick as possible, but it's quite forgiving. And then uh, as far as the maintenance on the methane engine, we spend about uh, 10 minutes a day making sure the oil level's right and looking at the engine over. And my mechanic goes back there every day and first thing when he comes to work, and he checks it over and makes sure that everything's working right. Um, the Part of it is, you know, maintaining the temperature. You might want to check the temperature every day, make sure there's no heat loss. Those things normally are fine, but you just need to know if something's going wrong. We use a wetting agent uh, in the intake manifold, so we make sure that has a little bit of... We're using mineral oil in it. It takes about a quart of mineral oil a day. The oil analysis is, uh, comes back. This thing seems to run fairly clean. Uh, we're changing the oil now every five to six weeks. Uh, of course, it's in continuous operation, so you're well over a thousand hours. Um, the engines, the life of the engines have been running us about two and a half years. And then we're having to put a different motor in and overhaul the old one. The original motor is still in operation. It's been overhauled four or five times. I got two motors, so we always have one running. Um, one of the reasons we got two motors is we're producing somewhere around $120 worth of power a day. 
And uh, if you figure that out, you really, once you start doing that, you don't want to have a lot of downtime. So we want to make sure that we have time to overhaul an engine properly and yet the digester stays warm and keeps running. That generator's original now. The last time we shut down, it had 15 years on it and we was concerned that maybe the generator would fail. So I uh, took it out, took it in to a motor shop and had it checked over. They put new bearings in it, but the condition was very good on it, yeah. So it's back in and running again.